Good day, everyone, and welcome back. In today's session, we will discuss about the truth values of conditional and biconditional propositions. Previously, I have discussed to you about the truth values of the propositions for the negation, conjunction, and disjunction. So this is the truth table for the negation of propositions. This is for conjunction, and this table is the truth table for the disjunction of propositions. In today's session, we will focus on conditional and biconditional propositions. So what to expect in this lesson is to determine their truth values. Are you ready? Then let's start. Conditional proposition is also known as implication. This is a proposition which is the result of combining a hypothesis or antecedent to a conclusion or consequent in the form if then. So the conditional statement is also known as an if then statement. It is denoted by the symbol. We have here an arrow and it's read as if P, P is the antecedent then q and q is the consequent the truth table of a conditional proposition or implication is this if p is true q is true the implication is true if p is true q is false the implication is false if p is false q is true the implication is true and if P is false Q is false the implication is true what have you observed with a table the implication is true in all cases except when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false as you have seen the implication is true for the first, third, and fourth row. The implication is only false whenever its consequent or its conclusion is false. This means that a true hypothesis cannot imply a false conclusion. Conditional propositions take a variety of forms. We have if P, Q, P only if Q, Q if P, Q when P, Q whenever P, Q follows from P, P is sufficient for Q, and Q is necessary for P. So to better understand the truth table for conditional or implication, let us have some example. Determine the truth values of the following propositions. So our first example or our first given is this. If there are 12 months in a year, then 2 is greater than 0. This is our hypothesis. There are 12 months in a year. And for the conclusion or the consequent, 2 is greater than 0. Our first proposition is true since indeed there are 12 months in a year. Our second proposition is also true because 2 is indeed greater than 0. Based on the truth table for implication, since both propositions are true, then the truth value of this conditional statement is true. Let's have another example. If 2 plus 8 equals 11, then 11 is a rational number. So our first proposition P, 2 plus 8 equals 11. And the second proposition or the consequent 11 is a rational number. The truth value of our first proposition is false because 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 and not 11. That's why the proposition P is false. But for 11 is a rational number is true because 11 is of course a rational number. Since the antecedent is false and the consequent is true, 
this conditional statement is still true. Do you follow? I hope so. Now let's proceed with the third example. If Catherine Bernardo is an actress, then she is a JMA artist. So we have our first proposition or our antecedent. Catherine Bernardo is an actress. I know you know her. And then the second proposition or the consequent, she is a JMA artist. Now, what's the truth value of our first proposition? Okay. Our first proposition is true since Catherine Bernardo is indeed an actress. But for the second proposition, she is a JMA artist. This proposition is false because Catherine Bernardo is under the ABS-CBN management. So, the second proposition is false. Based on the truth table, if the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false, the conditional statement is false. Therefore, this implication if Catherine Bernardo is an actress, then she is a JMA artist, is false. So that is all about the conditional propositions. Now let's move on to biconditional or equivalence. This is a proposition which is the result of combining two propositions in the form if and only if. It is denoted by the symbol, we have the double arrows, and it's read as P, if, and only if, Q. The proposition may also be written as P, if, Q, so there are two letter Fs. For its truth table, we have the propositions P, Q, and the biconditional statement, or the equivalence form. If P is true and Q is true, the biconditional statement is true. If P is true, Q is false, the equivalence is false. If P is false and Q is true, the biconditional statement is still false. But if both P and Q are false, the biconditional statement is true. What have you observed with a table? That is right. The truth table of biconditional tells us that its truth value is true when truth values of P and Q are the same. So if both P and Q have the same truth values such as like this, they are both true or they are both false, then the biconditional statement is true. If one of the statement is false, then the resulting biconditional statement is false. Let's have an example. Express each proposition in symbols and find its truth value. Assume that both P and Q are true. Assume further that R, S, and T are false. So we have here the following propositions. P, Liza is in grade 11. For Q, she is a senior high school student. For R, she is a graduating student. For S, Liza has a degree in education. And for T, she is working as a teacher. Always take note with the conditions presented in the instruction. So P and Q are true, while R, S, and T are false. For our first statement, we have this. Liza is in grade 11 if and only if she is a senior high school student. For its symbolic statement, we have P if and only if Q because Liza is in grade 11 is the proposition P while she is a senior high school student is the proposition Q. Therefore, this is written this way. For its truth value, well, based on the table that we had earlier, if both propositions have the same truth value, the biconditional statement is true. Therefore, this is true true. Second example, Liza is in grade 11 if and only if she is working as a teacher. For its symbolic statement, P if and only if T because 
Liza is in grade 11 is the proposition T, while she is working as a teacher is the proposition T. That's why it is written this way. For its truth value, again, let's base on the table. One of its proposition is false. Therefore, the biconditional statement, Liza is in grade 11 if and only if she is working as a teacher, is false. For our third example, Liza has a degree in education if and only if she is a graduating student. For its symbolic statement, Liza's degree in education is the proposition S. That's why we have here letter S. If and only if, so this is the symbol. She is a graduating student is the proposition R. So we have here the symbolic statement S, if and only if, R. For its truth value, well again based on the truth table that we had earlier, since both propositions are false, they have the same truth value. The biconditional statement lies as a degree in education if and only if she is a graduating student is true. That is all about the truth values of conditional and biconditional propositions. Remember, for conditional propositions, the conditional or implication is true in all cases except when the conclusion is false. For biconditional propositions, it is only true when both propositions have the same truth value. So I hope that you learned something from this discussion. And in the next session, I will share to you about the different forms of conditional propositions, the contrapositive, converse, and inverse. Goodbye, everyone, and have a nice day. See you there.